Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. Sorry for the long delay on this video. I'm gonna get back to it. You know, I gotta take a break. I do my thing. But anyway, we're back with a uh, part. What three? Are we on through part three or four? I don't know. We're on part whatever of mixing vocals inside of FL Studio. Today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to use delay. And just like in the previous videos, I'm gonna show you guys how to use a stock and a third-party plugin so you can get that great, amazing sound, no matter what you're using in FL Studio or whatever DAW using but if you can please follow me on instagram and twitter it would be helping me out image different tv so you can stay up to date when i go live and everything like that and if you want to make be part of my live streams and all that which i will be doing every friday and sunday please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so when i post it up so you know to be ready to go live for beat reviews beat making podcasts q a's all that good stuff so let's get right back into it so let's just um get right into it so i'm gonna go ahead and go to my insert real quick i did just the volume a little bit from last one so uh i did just the volume just a little bit so i'm gonna pull up to my favorite uh la, 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 my favorite delay plugin which is echo boy which is my favorite it is by the guys who were at sound toys probably one of my favorite delays use whatever delay you can if you got a favorite one use it i know there's some good ones by ways the h delay so like that uh no other companies got good delays i like sound toys just because it has different algorithms like that but we're also going to be using the Delay 3, the Fruity Delay 3, because it is an analog style delay, kind of like Echo Boy. And, you know, it's stock, comes with it. But you can use Fruity Delay 2 if you ain't got 3, if you're still using like FL11 or something like that. But, yeah, so there we go. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're not going to put this on the check. So as you see, I do got it on the channel, as you see. But we're not going to do that. I just did that just to kind of show you what I'm using. We're going to make a insert channel or a send or aux whatever you want to call it uh effects bus many different ways for it easy way doing the fl studio like you can go up here to fl studio and go to templates where is it at open new and there's a template for you know with sends so you can do that way or you can turn any of these into send any of these channels in any empty channel in fl studio can become a send it don't really matter but if you want to dock it at fl12 you just right click go to dock to you can go to dock to right and then it docks it over here, so then you got right there. So yeah, so we'll just dock that back to the middle. We're gonna rename this, so we're gonna call this. Oh, can't spell. Delay. We're gonna give it a nice, purdy color, cause I know you guys like colors. Y'all, the fruity kids these days. Um, we're gonna go back to my channel, right here. We're gonna take off. We're gonna actually just take this and put it right there. Do the same thing right here. If we go to save preset, we're gonna drag and drop. Boom. Go back to the channel. Now we're gonna remove these. So we're gonna replace with none. Replace with none. Cause I like to use my effects on effects send because it's a whole lot easier to manipulate and get it. So now if you create a send by itself, it's gonna be like this. See how it's set up? It has no routing at that. What you need to do is click the channel and it's probably gonna be like this. You click whatever channel you want to route to it and you just click the little arrow below boom or you can just right click and then route to this channel um whatever and that does it's the same thing you're basically making kind of like a side chain effect type thing same thing when you're doing side chaining same thing so what we're doing is pretty much sending this vocal into the delay we're not putting the delay on there we're sending the um the vocal into the delay and then with whatever delay plugin you're using you want to make sure that your mix is all the way up you want to be 100 percent like i said we want 100 percent of the effect and we're going to send how much of the vocal we want to go to it so let's go ahead and send some vocal into this reverb it is delay so and yeah i'm back up on the track now y'all hear my voice y'all don't know how to act yeah because y'all ain't saying nothing saying that i'm hating and see i can send a whole lot of re uh i can send a whole lot in there and yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now you hear my voice, y'all don't know. Or a little. It just depends on what you want to do. Um, okay, so I already know I'm gonna change the timing of it because it's not it's not a good timing, it's off timing, as you tell. I like to do depending on what the, it does if I have a lot of pauses in my vocals, I'll probably use like one eighteenth. Um, but since this is on my main vocal, I'll probably use like one fourth notes. And you know, because it's just better, as you can hear. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Has that little delay to it. You know, I don't want the delay to be really snappy. Now, if you want a snapback delay sound, 
You can do like one eighteenth or one sixteenth. That's kind of like a snapback delay. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice. Y'all don't know how to. You kind of a snapback, a chorusing effect or double effect. But we are going for that kind of, you know, delayed time with it. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my. All right, so now I got my timing right. A thing I like to do is I like to always cut my lows and my highs from my delay. Now, since this has it built into it, I didn't got to do that. I can just bring it up to it. I can just bring it you know, how much lows I want to cut. Usually cut about like that. That's why I, that's why I use your preset. But if say you don't have this right here, all you got to do, since you have it on the send effect, what you would do is you would put a EQ. I had to think for a second. My brain had a brain fart. You would put an EQ right after the delay. And then you can just do like, you know, the preset. And you just cut how much you want. So. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice. Y'all don't know how to act. Yeah. Cause y'all ain't saying nothing, saying that I'm hating, calling me Joe Budden. I can't help it that I speak the truth. And you can see I'm actually I'm actually EQing the delay and not EQing the main vocal. That's why I like doing send effects, cause you can get that control and you get that that nice control going on right there. I'm gonna leave that right there, since that's a, that's actually pretty good. And then I'm gonna mess with my feedback. I want to you know determine how much feedback I want. You know with this delay. I probably want a, a fair amount of feedback, not too much. Cause I want to overpower the vocal, but yeah. So we play it. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice. Y'all don't know how to act. Yeah, cause y'all ain't saying nothing. And now I got my settings for my uh, delay. You know, I'm not gonna do any saturation or the style or all that. You know, you can do that on your own to kind of shape the tone of it. Now that I have the my setting for my delay, I'm going to determine how much of the delay I want. So what I like to do is play it with the beat so you can hear it going on with the effect. That's how I do it. And you should as well so you can actually hear the delay interacting with the music in general. Don't just do it with it solo because you won't be able to tell 100%. So let's bring the beat back and let's uh, give it some more delay if we need to. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice. Y'all don't know how to act. Yeah. Cause y'all ain't saying nothing, saying that I'm hating, calling me Joe Budden. I can't help it that I speak the truth. I heard your song one time and that's all the proof that I need. All y'all talk about is sex, cars, drugs, and weed. Damn, my nigga, you never gonna succeed. You might make a... You know, and right there, there you go right there. Um, That's an appropriate amount right there. It sounds really good. It sounds great to me. You can do some side chain delay effect, which I did make a video about. I'll put it up the corner up there. You can also check out that if you want to see how to do a side chain delay effect. Um, but there you go for delay. Now, like I said, we'll go to the stop plug-in, of course, because, you know, guys, you guys want to see how to do a stop plug-in. Same principle. I'm going to uh, determine my time. So that's fine. Let's actually play. Let's get my timing right first. And yeah, I'm back up on the track. Now y'all hear my voice. Y'all don't know how to act. Yeah, cause y'all ain't saying nothing. Saying that I'm hating, calling me Joe Budden. I can't help it that I speak the truth. I heard your song once. This is a, it's an analog side of the leg and going forever. Uh, we're gonna turn it to mono because we want a mono. We want a mono effect. I want a mono delay. I don't want a stereo delay. I'm gonna turn my feedback down. A little bit turn my feedback down a little bit i'm not worried about the low cut high cut crap because i said i got an eq right there so i ain't worried about that um bit rate and all that we're not gonna bit crush it a bit reduce it and we're not worried about the modulation and diffusion that's some stuff you can play around with and feedback like i said make sure your wet's all the way up your your um dries all the way up you don't want that down here you want it all the way to 100 percent Cause like I said, you're feeding the vocal into the delay. You're not putting the delay on the vocal. So let's play that. And then we'll just like I said, once again, adjust how much delay I get going into my track. Skip ahead. I'm here. Cause y'all ain't saying nothing. Saying that I'm hating, calling me Joe Budden. I can't help it that I speak the truth. I heard your song one time and that's all the proof that I need. All y'all talk about is sex, cars, drugs, and weed. Damn, my nigga, you never gonna succeed. You might make a little. Let's go ahead and bring down the feedback a little bit more because there's a lot of feedback going there. What about 20%? For this delay itself, I mean, you know, some delays you might need more, some you might need add less, depending on how the manufacturer or whoever made the plug in does it. Yeah. 
Cause y'all ain't saying nothing Saying that I'm hating Calling me Joe Budden I can't help it that I speak the truth I heard your song one time And that's all the proof that I need All y'all talk about is sex, cars, drugs, and weed Damn, my nigga, you never gonna succeed You might make a little money here one time <laughs> My nigga, you calling that a grind? Not me And there you go Simple, easy way to add some delay onto your vocals um, Like I said, the main thing is You, you want to use an aux effect or a scene or insert or effects bus whatever it's called in your daw can those different words you want to use one because it gives you more control over the effect itself you can you know really tailor it to the song and make it fit perfectly trust me if you do it that way it's, a, it's an extra step you gotta create a new channel but it goes a long way in making your vocals sound that much polished and that much professional a lot of people won't tell you to do that because they just think just throw it on your uh channel and it works Nah, do it the professional way, do it the right way, do it the way that gives you more control to really craft the sound to your liking so that you can have the best possible reverb, delay, whatever. But yeah, that's it right there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Always, if you have any questions, just leave them in the description below. Thumb the video up if you like it. If you didn't like it, hey, you can thumb it down. I don't care. There's always a hater or two or three out there. We need those haters. You guys make this channel just as much as the people that support me. If you want to support me, there is a PayPal link down below that you can support me and download with. Because I say, a lot of you guys ask me, how can I, you know, y'all you guys want to do donate to the channel to keep it growing and me do more stuff and all that you can do that also follow me on my instagram and twitters and all that blah 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 all my links in the description below um yeah and make sure you stay around because you know i'm coming up with the next part to teach you guys about reverb and then we can get to our ad libs back in vocals mixing and then mastering i know you guys are ready for that and they'll become they'll come frequently one after the other because I, said I had my little time off but i'm back so with that being said i hope you guys enjoy like always y'all know who it is it is your boy Slim, a.k.a. Mr. Different, not motivated by the money, but the like, comments, subscribe, and views. And I thank everybody out there for staying tuned. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, everybody.